Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's December 29th, 2023. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As expected, the holiday season is having quite a strong effect on the stock market, and as of December 29, 2023, BP is currently trading at a volume of 36,512, Chevron Core is trading at a volume of 10,689, Enbridge Incorporated is trading at a volume of just 944, Clean Energy Core is trading at a volume of 877, and Waste Management is at a volume of 516. Now moving into the news, there's a lot of things going on across the country worth keeping your eye on as we move into 2024, so let's hit some of these headlines. California will be investing $130 million as part of its Climate Investments Organic Grant Program to help keep 7.7 tons of food and yard waste out of landfills. The money is going to 23 different infrastructure projects across 15 counties with the goal of removing the equivalent of 480,000 cars off the road in terms of climate pollution cuts, generating 114 new jobs for the state. And now for residents living in Miami-Dade County in Florida, the local Department of Solid Waste is inviting its residents to engage in the department's brand new Christmas tree recycling program. Miami-Dade service area customers can responsibly dispose of their clean, decoration-free natural Christmas trees at select trash and recycling centers. The recycled trees will then be transformed into mulch, available to customers on a first-come, first-served basis starting this coming spring. And while Miami is celebrating the launch of their program, San Diego is celebrating the 50th anniversary of their annual Christmas tree recycling program. Officials say the city has recycled approximately 52,153 tons of trees over the past half century, equating to 1043 million pounds. The city offers 16 locations for residents to drop off their Christmas trees to be recycled free of charge, both green and flocked or fake snow trees are accepted. Up next, citizens of Rhode Island should absolutely be aware of a new ban on plastic bags taking effect January 1st. The Plastic Waste Reduction Act, legislation passed by the Rhode Island General Assembly during its 2022 session, is set to come into force January 1st, 2024. This legislation prohibits retail establishments from furnishing customers with single-use plastic bags at the point of sale across the state. And for residents of Athens, Ohio, a similar ban on plastic bags is headed your way as well. But in this case, the ordinance covers stores and vendors with a proposed effective date of January 1st, 2024, as opposed to a hard date. This delay in enactment will allow businesses to use up their supplies of single-use plastic bags and, if they desire, coordinate for alternatives. Better yet, it gives customers in Athens not accustomed to using single-use plastic bags more of an opportunity to get into the habit of bringing their own bags with them. And just a reminder, Recyclist is brought to you by Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com, that's diamondsci.com, or call them at 321 223 Seven five zero zero. Now on with the news. Now moving to Brainerd, Minnesota, area nonprofit partners Bridges of Hope and Salem West are celebrating the launch of their brand new textile recycling program. The mustard seed and common goods area thrift stores will now start collecting and recycling textiles not appropriate for the sales floor, diverting an estimated 400,000 pounds of textile waste from landfills annually. Now moving from Minnesota to Michigan, 
Phil Roos, director of the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy, called for Michigan counties to begin developing new materials management plans as of January 8, 2024. These plans will include information about waste volumes generated in the planning area, current recycling rates, recycling goals and strategies, improved facility siting processes, and enforcement mechanisms. This in an effort to achieve an overall 45% residential recycling rate within the next few years. And speaking of recycling, the EPA has announced a brand new $3.5 million grant going to the city of Ontario, Canada to help the city upgrade its recycling collection infrastructure and reduce food waste through a new digital donation tool. The award comes as part of the EPA's Solid Waste Infrastructure for Recycling Grants Program, which has received substantial funding from the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and President Biden's Investing in America agenda. And staying in the north, the city of Millville in New Jersey has just created a new solid waste utility to help deal with the ever-increasing cost of trash collection going into 2024, with city officials saying this new utility was by far the best option they had. A preliminary estimate by city officials said trash collection via this new utility would cost people just $20 a month, but fees will eventually be set by a resolution. While residents of neighboring Vinland pay 20% more than that for municipal trash collection. Officials said the charges will be billed quarterly and the money raised through the fee is only available to be used for trash collection. And now moving next door to New York, just prior to this recording, as a matter of fact, the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation just announced the finalization of their 2023 to 2032 New York State Solid Waste Management Plan, a milestone in the state's ongoing efforts to ensure the state is at the forefront of rethinking waste. The plan is a 10-year agenda that describes actions to reduce the climate impact of solid waste and provides direction for New York's waste reduction, reuse, recycling, collection, transportation, and disposal investments, policies, and practices over the next decade. And lastly, passengers at both the Seattle Airport and the Bell Harbor Conference Center should be on the lookout for OSCAR, the new AI waste sorting technology that will help visitors sort their waste items into compost, recycling, or trash bins. The Oscars from Intuitive AI are designed to fit existing waste bins. When users walk up to the machine, they place the item in front of a camera for the system to analyze. Oscar then tells the user which bin to use to dispose of the item. Six new Oscars, four at the Seattle Airport, one at the Bell Harbor Conference Center, and one at the Pier 6 in the Norwegian Cruise Lines Terminal, are designed to help educate passengers on proper waste sorting, improving recycling, and composting diversion from landfills. And that has been your Recyclist News Update for December 29th, 2023. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and I'll see you back here next week, or next year, for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you, and Happy New Year, everyone.